Hi, Shanti FM. I've been I've been telling you we're going to talk to Tokyo Hotel, and we are right now. Tokyo Hotel. Guys, say hello. Hi. Um, this is special. I, a lot of people wish you were sitting in my position right now. Which I, you would not believe how anticipated you guys have been coming here. A lot of us didn't know that much about you until the first release of this album. Humanoids, the first album we've actually seen uh, in Taiwan. But the fan response immediately has been, ah! I don't see, you know, I, before I seen you guys in action, I didn't know what was going on. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> I seen the album. Okay, these guys, you guys got an incredible visual. But the thing is, you guys can actually put out good music too. So this. Thank you, you very much. This is an amazing combination. It's it's a no wonder the success is going off the hook. And also, um, want to welcome you guys here to Taiwan. Now, I'm curious, is this a pro pro promotional tour or is this something that you've heard about as far as Asia goes? Because I know you've been to Japan. But I mean, what what brought you to Taiwan? Um, this is just promotion, you know, and it's our first trip to Asia. So before we've been to Malaysia and we were in Singapore, um, which was a beautiful city and we had a lot of fun so far. And um, yeah, we definitely want to come back and play, in, you know, a full tour with a really a live show everywhere that would be fantastic. And we want to go to Japan. And um, yeah, but this is just promotion and it's just... But it's great, I mean, you know, we didn't expect it, any fans because it's our first trip and you know, it's, it's great, we had a great welcome in Taiwan, uh, we had like like a hundred, uh, more than 200 fans at, at the airport waiting for us and you know, it's it's really great and tonight we have like a like really small showcase, we play some, you know, songs acoustic and uh, we're looking forward to that. That showcase, by the way, is like, unfortunately it's a showcase and it's small. You. The showcase could have been like 70 times bigger. We had to actually tell people, we're sorry, we've only got a few tickets. It's just a showcase. We're just here for a promotion, I think. And they're going to come back later. I assure you they'll be back later. So you just mentioned you'll be back later. So this is the good thing already. Right. Awards around the world. So many. Let's go back to September 7th of 2008. I was, I was so amused by this. September 7th, 2008. I bet you guys remember the date. And exactly what I'm alluding to. You're at the VMAs. You're not anticipating anything. You're just honored to be there because you're, you're, you're somewhat of a new act. <laughs> you see names like Miley Cyrus, Katy Perry, Jordan Sparks, Taylor Swift. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> there was, no, it's Tokyo Hotel. Yeah, there was. I it was so it was funny because, you know, all the, we, we were, you know, just, just female um, 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 artists artist mm -hmm. and we, you know, at the uh, nominated. Sure. And we were the only boys, and you know we and the female artists, you know, in, in uh, talk in front of the show, and they said, okay, yeah, who's gonna be? Yeah, maybe me, Miley, or no, maybe uh, it's me. And you know, all the girls standing around, and Katy Perry said, yeah, maybe it's me. And you know, nobody talked about Tokyo Hotel, and uh, of course, you know, we went on the it red was, carpet. I think it was unexpected for yeah, everyone, for everyone you know, because uh, we went on the red carpet. Everyone was like, yeah, there's this the band from Germany, Germany. And, uh, <laughs> blah, and we were like, okay, um, thank you that we can be here. Thanks for the chance and. Uh, we are so happy to be nominated. That's uh, crazy, and um, it was so. It was a huge surprise for everyone, and um, yeah, uh, I think it was one of the best nights we had. Uh, in fact, I heard you guys party pretty hard to the point of pain that night. Huh? Yeah, we had a, we had a, a few good parties after the VMA. <laughs> Does that take your confidence to a next level? I mean, because the fact now is you have established yourself as being real players. Does that what did that do to your confidence? Did that make you think, whoa? We are no longer just thinking about what we can do. We know what we can do. Was it like that? Yeah, you know, all these awards and all these things are very nice, you know, to keep moving on. Because when you're in the studio, it's, it's really nice. And I enjoy the studio time and I enjoy to write songs and all this. But um, I think, you know, the best thing is to go with it on the road and share it with people and when you have awards like that and um, uh, you can see okay the people want to see that and the people can feel it and um, they want to share the music that always feels good and that keeps you you know moving on but you know I think it's, it's always great like moments like that you need that because you know you have a lot of things you know behind the scenes going on really you know the whole music business is, is you know really dirty and not good and so bad and you know guys please don't ruin our image. We thought it was all just wonderfulness, fun, <laughs> no. nonstop no, laughing, it's not, it's not make just, the music. No, I have to say it's not just fun because you know you have so many people. You know they try to just, just you know destroy you or disturb you in your way, and you know a lot of bad people in the music scene. And you know you have a lot of 
bad things going on behind the scenes and and then you you know you go out and you know playing a tour or a concert and see the fans feel the energy or get an award like that it's always like um, then you know why you do all that so you Amazing. know we really need that Amazing. Yeah, yeah people just don't realize the stresses you guys have to endure we're, we're, we're here with Tom Bill George Gustav in fact just a little bit. What are some of the nasty experiences that, that you can speak of right now that just stick in your mind that just won't go away? Because I'm thinking you sound like uh, some of the things that made you a little bit angry at times. <laughs> so therefore, <laughs> yeah, right. things. But you know, I, I, I'm uh, I'm really happy that that you know the people don't you know recognize all that because you know it's it's like you know we you know know how to handle it and you know we, we it, it was really hard for us you know we, we when we started in the business we were like 15 years old you mm -hmm. know and then we signed our deal at the record company and work and you know first uh, our first record company uh, dropped us and said okay we signed the deal and now we drop you we don't want to have a release so we signed at uh, four universes then so we were before at bng and you know it was a really hard fight for us you know to um, yeah, do our our thing because you know we were 15 years old. And there's a you know the label boss and he he say okay um, you have to wear that and and I, I want another record you know and all that and and we were already finished so we were like 15 years old we went like that to school you know and and we said okay no we we are we are a band and we have the record finished and we want you know to do it like that and it was you know a fight for us you know to to do it our you know like we want. So, because we were 15 years old, you know, nobody, you know, it was always like, you know, let the kids talk, they don't know anything, and, you know, it was, you know, it was a fight, but, you know, now it's all good, and, you know, yeah. See, that's good. That, that sends a message to everybody who wants to get into music. Yeah. You may have to go under somebody else's direction in the beginning, but if you establish yourself, right. you get your own creative If you have the success, everything is good. So. Yeah, you know, and then for us, it was, it was always important to do our own thing, so we never wanted to listen to other people, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, that's the best, was, that, the, advice, that's the best you know? advice we can give to everyone, you know. Always listen to yourself, believe in you and believe in what you do. And even when other people say you can't handle that and it's not, you know, our first record company dropped us and it was the same songs. There was also Monsoon on the record and he yeah. said, okay, it's not a hit. It's not a hit. And I can't see potential and I think you are shit and I can't. <laughs> and, I don't and, the, and, the name, and the name <laughs> and the name is not good and you, you, you look not good and you know, all that. So, yeah. Wow, you guys went through all that. Mm -hmm. now, now, it's interesting, the name 